best trick. Luke yeah. Ackerman sits one spot outside of the top three here with that 84.66 right now. Looks like he's heading back over to the super kicker there. He's got the levers up. I think we're going to see, similar to the first run, he might just try and get that knack a little better. Yeah, just clean that up just a little bit. I mean, he's knocking on the door, catching up to Taka right there. Rob Adelberg still sitting in that top spot, followed by Josh Ian. Yeah, much better on the knack deck there from Ackerman. Got the leg fully over the seat. He's happy with it. He's trying to add another medal to the count here today. He's got a freestyle silver from this morning. He's pumped with that. We're going to check that on the replay. But you can clearly tell he got the knack knack a lot bigger. Once again, as I said, the guys doing their double flip combos pretty much on the first flip only. So they got enough time to assess the rotation. But uh, a lot bigger knack than the first one. Will it be enough to get him over the line and pass Taka? Still a hard landing on that uh, best trick landing there. So is that going to be enough? An 84. Uh, Sheehan also on the podium in freestyle earlier today. He walked out of here with a bronze medal. He too can easily throw those double backflips as well as some combos of that trick. Yeah, Sheeny, the Donnybrook destroyer, he's out there. He's having a good time. Single, looking to mingle. Let's see what he's got here for best trick. Pretty conservative. He's been riding within his limits all weekend, so uh, don't think we expect to see anything too crazy right now, but when I say crazy, that's in freestyle motocross terms of people that do it every day. Well, he owns five total best trick medals. He's got one silver and four bronze. Big extension on the no hand at that time. Held it a lot longer than he did in his freestyle run. Awesome there. Good job, Sheeny. Check that out on the slow-mo. Commits really early to the no-hander. Hasn't even finished the first flip yet. Grabs back on. Now, the reason they do that, that trick so early is so they can grab back on and assess how fast they're actually rotating. And if they're going a little slow, they need to tuck in and hold that thing on the limiter to get the second spin to, uh, yeah, second flip to spin a little faster. But uh, solid trick there from Josh. Knocking on the door of the 90s, he's going to get an 89 flat, which is Mr. Adelberg going to bring to the party here in round number one, Bilko. That was some solid stats that you spoke of. Five out of six of the last best trick. Comes in there for the straight air. Off the setup jump, clicks to, will he go for it? There it is, 110 foot front flip. I think he threw the legs off there a little bit. Want to throw a variation into the end of that one right there? Uh, maybe he's just trying to warm up and uh, fill it out for his second run. You know, if we think back to freestyle, his uh, first attempt it was the first time he ever done it off the 110 foot ramp, and it was a little sketchy. He went a little long, so. Uh, that is an understatement. He went way long and ended up riding that one out of the bars, hit him in the chest, and he hung on for the, for the ride on that one. So he's obviously thinking about a combo there. So I think that was just enough to give him the confidence that, hey, I can flip the 110 smooth and land in the right spot. And uh, I think if he needs to do it, he'll be throwing a combo a bigger combo than a no-footer off off the next uh, any second run. That came late right there. That was that was a very late afterthought for Rob. I think he's just trying to make sure that thing's coming around. But again, <laughs> that sheer height of, of the 110-foot ramp, it's that's commitment to the to the fullest.